Good morning, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. It is time for another vinyl haul. I bought a whole lot of new records recently, so I'm gonna go through them today, explain a little bit about each one, why I like it, why I bought it, and my favorite tracks. Record number one is the Collage EP by The Chainsmokers. I know it's not the most prestigious of records, but it was very cheap, and the songs on here are just really fun. Closer is an absolutely amazing song as far as catchy pop EDM tunes go. It also came on this really, really nice 180 gram white vinyl, which I thought was really cool. Favorite tracks on this are Closer, obviously, and then Setting Fire, as well. I think the vocal line in Setting Fires has got quite a lot of passion behind it and I think it sounds really nice. Now in a total juxtaposition to that, the next record that I got was Brian Eno's latest album, Reflection. Now if you don't know who Brian Eno is, you should be thoroughly ashamed of yourself. He is an absolutely legendary producer and musician. He's been around for years and is probably best known for his pioneering work in rock, electronic and especially ambient music, of which this album is a part of. There are only four tracks on this album, Reflection 1, 2, 3 and 4. They run for exactly 54 minutes and this is his 26th solo studio album. He's been in the game a long time and even if you think you don't know who he is if you listen to a track he produced called ending and ascent then you'll almost definitely recognize it because it's very well known and popular and is used all the time the thing about this album though is that when you put it on it's not like listening to an album and it's not supposed to be like that it's more of a process and i know how wanky and pretentious that sounds but ambient music is something that not everyone likes but there are certain times when you listen to music like this and it just sort of makes sense and everyone gets something different out of ambient music i think and when Brianina released this album Album, he also released an app that you could get for it which effectively has an algorithm in it that means that the album can be put on a continuous loop but in a way that means it never ever repeats. The analogy he came up with to describe it when it first came out was that if you're sitting next to a river for a long period of time, the river is always changing subtly in the flow and the patterns on the surface, but it's always part of the same river and the same structure, and he wanted to kind of represent that with music. I haven't got the app, but I have listened to this, and it is an absolutely amazing piece of work. You can hear exactly what he's talking about, even when you're listening to the fixed version of the album, when he's talking about the ebb and flow of music. And it's just amazing, so if you think you might be into ambient music, give yourself a little bit of time, listen to it. The next album on the list is by an artist called Adam and is called Seconds Are Acorns. Adam's full name is Adam Ilhan and he is from South London. He's involved in various different musical projects and bands, but this is his solo work. It's kind of alternative indie music. I listened to this for the first time earlier today and I'd never heard of him before. This was very much one of my mystery records that I just picked up on a whim and I really, really liked it. There's something about his voice that I found quite captivating. It's got a very sort of honest and open feel to it. Favourite tracks on this are Small Things, I Would and Remember. A rem Remember is a really cool song. As soon as it finished playing for the first time, I got up and went to my record player and just put it back to the beginning of that song. It just really, really stuck with me. Next on the list is the album Now I'm Ready by the chill wave and dream pop duo from Greece keep Shelley in Athens. This album really surprised me with how cool it was. It was another mystery record and it only cost something like two pounds. So I picked it up and I got it home and it was one of those ones where as soon as the first song starts, I was kind of like, I'm going to really, really like this. The opening song Fractals just sounds like really, really classic synth pop and I, I absolutely love it. Bands like Barcelona, Hi Highs, I really, really like them. So I knew it was going to be good, but occasionally with bands like that, I kind of get bored of the music quite quickly. It all ends up sounding very similar, but this definitely did not do that. It developed really, really well and there are some really surprising sort of almost genre changes that go on throughout it. So definitely very happy with this purchase. Favourite tracks on this are Fractals, Hollow Man and Hunter. Next on the list we've got a Late Night Tales compilation and this one is by Olafa Arnolds. Now if you don't know, Late Night Tales have got a series of different vinyl releases. Each one is by a different artist and as far as I can tell, each one is a compilation of that artist's favourite music and maybe some of their own tracks thrown in there as well. So each one is a really nice collection of varied and interesting music and it gives you a little glimpse into what these artists are listening to in their spare time as well, which I just think is really interesting. There are a few of these out at the moment, and I definitely want to get the John Hopkins compilation, the Bonobo compilation, and the Nils Fram compilation. I haven't had time to listen to this all the way through yet, but I already know that some of the music on here I absolutely love. Like, there's the demo of Jasmine by Jai Paul, which I heard years and years ago when I was in college. Even then, I can remember thinking that this was such a cool, sexy track, and it's on vinyl now, and I never thought that I'd actually be able to have that song on vinyl. Our Love Comes Back by James Blake, or Goned by Kiasmos. This is just a really, really awesome compilation of music. Right, so the next three records I don't know anything about and I can't really talk about very much. They were all mystery records that I haven't got around to listening to yet. I've got a self-titled Nova Heart album, Lovers Know by The Minor Birds, and Natronics Mr. Divine. Honestly, like I said, I don't know anything about these records. I just got them because they were really cheap. And this one, for example, is a double gatefold 180 gram LP with some really nice artwork. And I looked them up on iTunes. Whatever I do, whenever I buy a mystery record, I find the album on iTunes if it exists on iTunes. And I listen to a couple of the previews. And if they sound good, I'll buy the LP. And all of these cost 
more to buy on iTunes than to just get the record where you can see the artwork properly. You can listen to it really, really well. And they all included download codes as well. This one is colored as well. I think it's like a turquoise color record. Yeah, look at that. That's a really, really sexy color. But yeah, I will definitely get around to listening to all of these. If you want to know what I think of them, what I tend to do is if I'm listening to a record that I haven't heard before and I like it, I'll put it on Instagram. And if I don't like it, I just won't say anything about it. So look out for these on Instagram. If they turn up on there, it means I like them. And finally, the last album for this vinyl haul is a special edition box set of Anthems for Doomed Youth by the Libertines. You must know who the Libertines are. Now, this is a really chunky box set. Inside here is the deluxe album, a 12 inch vinyl, six exclusive demos, a film, a signed art print and art prints for each track of the album. So if we open it up, the first thing that we see are the various art prints. This is the signed one and you can see that's Pete Doherty's signature just there. As you can see, there are quite a lot of art prints included in this. This is the actual record itself, underneath which is the CD, behind which you've got a download code so you can get a digital copy of the album as well as this. These are the demo tracks. I think the film is on this. I've never actually bought a proper box set like this before. It's really satisfying unboxing feeling when I first got this. I've got to remember what order it's all in now to put it back in. So yeah, that's that. Now obviously this is like the third full length album from the Libertines and it's after their first two records, which is sort of in the heyday of that band. And if you haven't listened to the Libertines before, I'd recommend listening to Up the Bracket first because it's just such a cool and like iconic album. It's like classic countercultural angsty teenage music. And I don't mean angsty teenage music like My Camel romance i mean angsty teenage music like nirvana listen to time for heroes and boys in the band from up the bracket and just thank me later but yeah this is their most recent album i have yet to listen to it all the way through i've heard quite a lot of the songs already but i got this because i've never seen like such a massive box set and it cost 25 quid that's amazing, especially considering what you get in here. I would have much preferred to have got a huge box set for Up The Bracket or even their self-titled album, but this is still a really, really good album. So that is the final record for this vinyl haul video. In my last vinyl haul video, we established that I had exactly 229 records. There's another nine there. So I now have got 238 records in my collection. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any thoughts or views on the records from this video, or if you have any recommendations for albums that you think I should pick up, just let me know down there. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you very soon.